Trine University follows a long established academic practice of recognizing through the granting of honorary degrees those individuals who have realized significant achievement in their respective fields or who have made substantial contributions to the work of the university. We have the privilege of recognizing such an outstanding individual today. I will ask Dr. David Finley, our Vice President for Academic Affairs, and Coach Robert M. Knight to come forward and join me at the podium for the presentation of the honorary degree. Dr. Finley and Coach Knight, please join me. As a preface to the remarks you will hear shortly, I will paraphrase the citation. Winning defines Robert M. Knight's personal and professional life. He coached the Indiana University Hoosiers for 29 years, leading them to three Division I NCAA championships, claiming the title in 1975-1976 after a perfect season. He had the most NCAA wins at 902 of a career total 1,273 games. He holds the NCAA record in tournament appearances at 28 and in games won, claiming victories of 20 or more games in 29 seasons. Uh, as importantly, Coach Knight has emphasized more than athletic excellence. He has stressed academics and character in his players who have notched a 98% graduation rate. His ability, his ability to teach young men the game of basketball and life is one of his most noted characteristics. As such, Trine University is privileged to award Robert M. Knight the Honorary Doctor of Public Service. By virtue of the laws of the state of Indiana and the authority invested in me by the Board of Trustees of Trine University, by direction of the trustees and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I am pleased to confer upon you the honorary degree of public service with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto. And in testimony whereof, we present you with this hood, Coach Knight, and I present you with this diploma. Congratulations.
please give a warm Toronto University welcome to Coach Robert M. Knight, our 2010 commencement speaker. Uh, I discarded my uh, gown uh, because I had told uh, Dr. Brooks that I only work in a sweater. Uh, Dick Vitale wears a coat, tie, suit, and he talks too much. Uh, I limit what I have to say, I think, with a sweater. I first of all would like to say that, that uh, Dr. Brooks read some things that have been given me over the years, but nothing uh, has touched me more or been more important to me personally than the degree uh, given to me by this great university here this morning. And that leads me to talk to you 360-some seniors that are about to receive your degrees. You know, there is no finer institution anywhere in the country than the one you are about to graduate from. And this institution has really placed you on the starting line of life. This is where life really begins for you because you're gonna to have to rely more on yourself from this point on, you eminent graduates, than at any other time uh, in your short experience with life. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about some of the things that you're going to encounter from this day on because you're going to be on your own you're going to be working for people. You're going to, some of you have to work for a guy like me. You know, I wasn't the easiest coach in history to play for. You know, that was never my intent. My intent was to see that the guys that played for me went away from basketball with a better opportunity to succeed in life than anyone anywhere could have. And with that, it took a, a certain amount of different types of encouragement on my part.